Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Forex, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create new watch lists and how to add additional instruments to those new watch lists. Now, before I do proceed to the tutorial, I would like to mention that if you're in the market for a new Forex trading platform, whether you are a beginner or you're an advanced trader just looking for something new, feel free to try out the absolutely free IC Market C Trader demo. You can sign up for this demo by following the link provided in the very beginning or at the end of the video. In this same link will be provided down in the description below, which can be directly clicked on to access the sign up page for CTrader. Now, like I said, I'll be showing you how to create new watch lists and add additional instruments to your watch list. Now, at first glance on the platform, we do see here on the far left hand side, the watch list panel. Now, by default, there should be the pre populated popular markets panel, which does give you a watch list of some of the most popular traded instruments on this platform. Now, that being said, we do have many traders that do trade different or maybe not as popular Forex contracts. And due to that reason, we will have our specialized individual cases where traders need to add additional instruments to their watch list. And that was the purpose of this video. So if you would like to create a new watch list, you can simply do so by clicking on the plus button here directly under our popular markets watch list. Doing so, as you see, will bring up the create new watch list window. And here you can actually name your watch list. So for example, if you'd like to get organized, you might be able to, for example, group this entire watch list based off contracts that have their US dollar in it. You may want to have a watch list for contracts with a Euro in it. There is a ton of different combinations here and it is entirely up to the trader and how they want to create their own watch list. For our example, we'll be creating a generalized watch list. So I'll just be naming mine demo. Once you have a name entered, simply click OK. And as you can see, your watch list will populate right here. And as you can see, you can drag it around if you like to. Now from here, let's say you mess up or you no longer need this watch list. You can delete it at any time by clicking the drop down menu here and then simply clicking delete. You can rename it as well. So again, maybe for contracts that have the US dollar in them, I can name it US dollar. If you'd like, I can duplicate it. You may need to create a new name for it, so we can name this US dollar one. And there you have it. So if there was contracts in there, as you can see, it would duplicate it, and you would have the same exact watch list, just under a different name. So we can delete this. And now let's show you how to add contracts. So as you can see, if you haven't already noticed, you can actually drag and drop most features of this platform into another position on the platform. Now you can actually do this with instruments and contracts as well. So if we open up our popular markets tab here, and let's say for example, I grab on to the Euro versus US dollar and drag, you'll see it becomes its own popped out identity. Now if I drag it into my watch list here, once as you can see the you can add or drag symbol field turns white, if I let go, it'll actually drag that into my new watch list. So as you can see, we now have our own watch list here. If you like, you can also go through the finder and you can either, for one, search through the search bar of our, a particular contract in mine. So for example, if we type EUR for the Euro, it'll give us any contract related to the Euro. So remember, like I said, if we did have a watch list with just Euro contracts, this is a great way to sort and find any contracts you need with the Euro. So as we have here, the Euro versus the Canadian dollar, if we actually right click and go to add watch list, we can now select which watch list we'd like to add the contract to. So if you do go through the finder, as you can see, you may not have the option to actually drag it into your watch list. So this may be easier for you. If we click our US dollar watch list, and although the name is in a Euro contract for organizational purposes, just to demo this feature out, we click on our US dollar. And as you can see, we have just added the Euro versus Canadian dollar to our watch list here. 
So that's real convenient and a really easy way just to add contracts into your newly created watch list. Now, if you need to, an easier way to actually drag things over from the finder is if you'll notice there is the pop up button right here to the far right of our watch list panel. Clicking on this, as you can see, it's created its own separate window and its own separate identity. So for those of you that do utilize multiple monitors and you would like to keep a track of a watch list to get some brief information about different prices or just a convenient way on how to open up your contract directly from a separate window or to either open up a chart or create a new order as you can see, this is a great method for you. And for those of you that also utilize multiple monitors, this is an easy way to drag contracts or in instruments you find in the finder here directly to your watch list window. Now keep in mind your watch list still will still be populated in this section, but it'll just populate in its own separate window. Now I would demonstrate me dragging out my contract to my watch list window, but unfortunately I'm only using one monitor currently. And as you can see, if I do click off of that watch list, it does get minimized in the background. So it is a bit inconvenient to do so if you're only using one monitor. But again, for those users that do utilize multiple monitors, this is great for you. As for other features of our watch list here, like I did briefly show, if you do right click on a contract, you can actually create an order ticket directly for that contract if you'd like. You can also directly open up a chart from here as you can see in the lower right hand corner. And another great feature is if you actually just drag our contract off of our watch list here, we actually get its own independent floating window with its own order ticket and its own little version of a chart. There's actually directly links to Yahoo Finance, MSN Money and Google Finance as well. And we get some nice information about market hours for this specific contract as well as a mini dome here and just some basic symbol info such as the base asset, minimum charges, maximum trade volume, positions that you may have, and quite a bit more. So that's good to know. You also get an order history for that specific contract. And once again, you can open up an order ticket directly through the bottom of the contract here. But that will just about wrap it up for this video, guys. If you found it helpful, feel free to subscribe, like this video, and give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Other than that, again, if you'd like to check out the IC Market C Trader demo, feel free to follow that link down in the description below, which will directly bring you to the signup page for an absolutely free trial of the IC Market C Trader platform. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed.